Hey there. Sharon Hornell from here. But you can call me Pajama Grandma, of course, in case we haven't met yet. Entirely possible. Go ahead and put in the comments below, hashtag pajama. So I know it's the first time you are hearing my voice, seeing my face, or being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today's Daily Scare Share, it's day 252. So for 251 days up until today, I have been doing one thing a day that scares me from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. And it is a book that challenges me to get out of my comfort zone, to bust out of the rut I've been living in and just do something different to move me toward what it is that I want. So obviously, I've done 251 things. And today is one of those yes, no days. There's a a combination every once in a while where they do a yes to something and a no to something. So today I believe they're saying they're giving us permission to say yes to something. And tomorrow it's going to be say no to something, some temptation. Actually, today I've already let the cat out of the bag. It says yes. Today I said yes to temptation. And then it's got all the blank lines so you can fill in all the ways you said yes to temptation. <laughs> so, so far I've already planned that I'm going to say yes to caramel. I'm going to say yes to a Netflix movie, and I'm probably going to say yes to some form of procrastination because those are things that if I'm at all tempted or stressed out, I will say yes to. I will I will procrastinate if I'm if I'm under pressure or stressed out. I'm actually not. Well, I'm a little stressed out right now, but not super stressed out right now. Um, isn't it interesting that there's always a bazillion things going on in our lives that we can choose to be stressed out about or we can choose to go with the flow of? Um, and I, these days more and more, I'm choosing to go with the flow of things instead of letting them eat away at me and stress me out. Because I found that when I'm under stress and pressure, and I always am putting myself under stress and pressure, we always like to blame other things, but for the most part, I do it to my own big self <laughs> and I don't work. I don't do anything very well. I don't accomplish very much when I'm under pressure. I find things and ways to procrastinate or to give in to temptation. So if I'm going with the flow, I'm more likely to make decisions that are in my own best interest. If I'm stressed or under pressure, I am more likely to give in to temptation and do things that are not in my own best interest. Now, a Netflix movie and a little procrastination here and there and one caramel a day is fine for me. But if I go on a caramel binge, I'm going to be paying for it tomorrow. If I spend too much time procrastinating, I'm going to be under pressure that I put myself under to get something done that I could have gotten done easily if I'd just broken it down into little pieces and done it a little bit at a time. And then I wouldn't have any pressure or stress because of it. So today, what will you say yes to? What temptation can you say yes to that really, and, and here's the trick, Take a temptation and find it something that's in your own best interest and then be tempted to do that. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to find something that's in my own best interest and I'm going to be tempted to do that. I suspect what I'm going to do is watch about 10 videos, probably 20 videos, and take notes for a project that I'm working on. So I'm probably going to spend the best part of the day, that almost the entire day, except when I bust out and go to the park and get some exercise, uh, actually, I'm going to be tempted to overwork today. That, uh, that's why I'm writing that down. I'm going to be tempted to overwork. <laughs> now, there's an example of taking something that could be seen as a negative. Temptation is often seen as a negative, and it can be turned into a positive. Anything that we want can be turned into a positive. I might be tempted to spend time with my loved ones and my family. That's an awesome temptation, right? So let's see if we can't twist temptation today so that we're not scared, so that it actually moves us toward our goals and objectives and the things that we want and make it a fantastic day. I will, of course, see you tomorrow with another Daily Scare Share, day 253 of the Daily Scare Share. Are we stretching our comfort zones or what? Absolutely. Bye. Jam Grandma out.